It's the workhorse of the RAF and in theatre it never stops. The C-130 Hercules is the main way that troops and cargo are transported throughout Afghanistan. So being capable and reliable is a must. And as Laura Hawkins found out, there's no challenge too great for the engineers who keep them ready for each vital mission. It's big, it's powerful and it's one of the most vital assets that 904 Expeditionary Air Wing provide to British troops here in theatre. The RAF C-130 Hercules fleet is based at Kandahar Airfield and could be described as Op Herrick's bus service. Crew from the RAF's 24, 30 and 47 squadrons are currently operating the Transport Tactical Airlifter. They're all based and trained at RAF Brides Norton. Here we are on the flight deck of the Hercules, where we're about to take off on one of their most common flights from here in Kandahar to Camp Bastion. Now, transportation is one of the most common roles of this aircraft. And last week, in the last week of August, they carried 1,200 passengers and 124 tonnes of cargo throughout Afghanistan. But when it's needed, the fleet also carry out airdrops to troops on the ground, some of whom may be on patrol and in need of vital supplies. It's a skill that takes a year of training, so when the crew get the opportunity, they jump at the chance. About two weeks ago, we dropped um, around two and a half tonnes of food and water to Brigade Reconnaissance Force out in Helmand Province. Um, it was conducted at night time, and uh, from what we've been told previously, the uh, Reconnaissance Force was in quite desperate need of the food and, and water, so for us to provide it at the right location at the right time is obviously quite an achievement for us. Although it's the captain, co-pilot and air load master that run the show in the air, it's the engineers behind the scenes that keep the Hercules airworthy. 33 engineering squadron maintain the fleet and as they found out in June, it's not always plain sailing. We've got a small fleet of aircraft in theatre and we really rely on them being serviceable pretty well all of the time. And we had a particularly bad month where we had two very heavy landings and a very serious and complex structural problem on one of the aircraft. So overnight, uh, virtually all our aircraft were on the ground. With such severe problems, the aircraft would normally be sent back to the UK for repair. But with no spare aircraft out in theatre at the time, it wasn't an option. The guys out here decided to press on um, and they did the repairs anyway in theatre. It's obviously a difficult job to do in this environment. Um, uh, and they managed to return the aircraft to serviceability in uh, what was considered to be a very short space of time. So CO904 um, was good enough to recognise that and he awarded the team his commendation, uh, which I was uh, allowed to receive on behalf of 33 Engine Squadron. Well-deserved recognition for a team known for their relentless hard work and determination in keeping Op Herrick's Hercules fleet in the air. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Kandahar.